I wasn't here first. I used to be on the roundabout. I had a, a, a simple shed, a tent, and tables. That's where I start from. And then pandemic happened, and then I came la, um, last year. I opened here, and I keep, um, I got a car for now. So it's hard as a young person that's now trying to, you know, have a business. My passion is cook. I am a chef. Hair is just my business on the weekends. Okay, so um, yesterday evening, around maybe um, nine, um, someone called me and told me that they broke into my caravan again. Um, reason I'm saying again is on the 31st, which was Thursday, they broke into the caravan and they took a lot of beverage, about hmm, seven or so or six cases of drinks. And we fixed it, fixed the caravan and everything was good. Um, we worked on Sunday and everything was fine. However, they broke into the caravan again on Monday, um, around maybe, I should say about 5.30. 6 between the hour to um, maybe 8 o'clock and they went in by the grill and they literally took everything from inside the caravan so they took tables, chairs, gas, bottle, gas, um, stove, music set, outdoor lights, box, anything you could think about that's in a, a food caravan they took it all. On the seawall as a Guyanese this is a part of our culture we need to do something to keep our culture so we need more security here also I don't know if maybe security now and then maybe more lights because these lights when rain fall there is no light so the minute the weather change there is no light so, so sometimes the place is pitch black so when the place is black and we don't have electricity, so the entire seawall is black. So you, you, you give the person's opportunity to break our business. So we're just asking for more light, electricity, and you know, so that everybody could be happy and we could keep the seawall in one, you know, one piece.